What's the best choice, say, for someone in Arizona who, who wants to go ahead? Good. Yeah, there are two choices in my estimation that are real. One is to go to another state. Um, by the way, these laws are 98% overlap. So there, there are not enough significant difference for that to be an issue. So you need to go to a state like, let's say, Washington, established residence, which is cinchy. Basically, it's if you rent an apartment and you have a lease, then you are a resident. If you buy a condo, you have a lease. If you actually live with a kid, a child, or a friend, and they sign a lease for you, you are a resident. A couple of other ways to do it is to go down to the Department of Motor Vehicles and change your Arizona license to a Washington one, which you can do in a day, then you're a resident. Or you can go to the voting registration and vote and sign up for your voting card. So you establish residency. And then as you said, Ron, the harder part is to get position. Uh, now, most of these states have volunteer organizations as the one I'm a member of in Washington. So the step there is to call that volunteer organization and they will help you find a position in whatever geographic area you are. We've actually got a stable in Washington of physicians who are doing teleconsult on this. Again, because of the virus, but also because people at this stage of life don't move very easily. Um, we're doing the medical assessments by Zoom and that's considered legal in the state. So once you get over that hurdle, then you have to work within the 17 day timeline that I described and everything else should work fine. So that's the first choice is to find another state and go there. The second choice is voluntary stopping eating and drinking. That choice you can make tomorrow uh, and you don't need anybody's permission for it. You do need a team of people who are gonna support you during that time when you are dying. And that cannot be overlooked. This cannot be done alone. Um, it has to, you really have to have a good set of friends who are willing to support you and spell each other as you go through that. 